cleaning up the attic and I found this uh, supply unit that was made, made for a tube circuit and uh, an other circuit. So let's take the lid away and here you see all kinds of say sloppy wiring etc. But there's a plan of course. The supply unit feeds a tube and here you see how the electronic circuit was made. Supply transformer and a tripler that tripler uh, made from say 60 volts unloaded uh, approximately 185 volts and that's enough for a trio tube or another tube to make it work properly. So very important circuit here. Look at it again. Of course the current that a tube needs on 185 volts could vary. So in that case you need a transformer that can deliver the good amount of current but this whole circuit stays the same. AC here, tripler with capacitors that can handle a quite high voltage, very important. These capacitors now in the middle of the screen uh, must be able to handle the high voltage that's generated by the tripler, the voltage tripler, etc. So anyway, uh, another part from the circuit is here. Uh, that is the circuit to supply the uh, voltage to the filament. And as far as I could see, here 6 volt 1.2 ampere when the whole circuit is loaded. But 25 volts when it's unloaded. But the good property from this circuit is that it um, uh, puts down the hum to the filament to an extremely low level. Also something to take in account to experiment with. Don't be afraid when you have here for instance 25 volts but when it's loaded the voltage goes down, the transistors get hot etc. And here we have exactly the same type of circuit. 18 volts AC driven into that transistor and here we have a negative voltage at the output, not a positive voltage. That's very important. Here we have a positive voltage, here a negative voltage. I hope it's visible now from this distance. And when you can read electronic schematics, this must be very simple. Ok, and I have explained this already, the high voltage positive uh, for the anode to the tube. So here it's all in this box. Quite sloppy, of course, anyway. But um, I cannot explain that better than I have did that before with the schematic. 
so when you uh, go to my YouTube channel you can find all kinds of circuits uh, power supply circuits especially uh, where you can find how to make these circuits in the proper way perhaps that uh, sounds quite simple but anyway uh, go to my channel uh, look at the videos etc etc and after all I wish you luck